Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So today we're going to be taking a look at a Shopify store which did about a million dollars in sales selling just the one product. So if you're a beginner watching this video and you're not quite sure what direction to go in next or what to do next in terms of the product you're going to sell, then I thoroughly recommend checking out a website called theexchangemarketplace.com. It's actually where I found this site that we're going to be going through today in this video. To give you kind of like a quick rundown of what it is, it's basically where people go to sell their Shopify stores. They publish their URLs, they publish their turnovers. And then once you have those two things, um, it's really easy to kind of gauge the potential behind a certain product before you then go ahead, source it from wherever you want to source it from um, and actually test it. And then obviously once you have a store's URL, then you can pretty much see the entire business's setup. You can see the store, you can see the product page layouts, you can see their best selling products, you can see the profit margins they're making. Um, and of course you can see the Facebook ads or the ads they're running. And they're all the things that I'm going to be showing you behind this particular store. So it's one of those sites in which I probably go on every couple of weeks, maybe once a month because new stores don't go up very often. But once they do, it's definitely worth kind of going through. It's actually where I found one of my very own best selling products. And what you usually find too is that when it comes to drop shipping, it's so heavily dominated by the Americans, by America. Um, when you look at Oblo's kind of order processing volume of America, versus everywhere else. I'll try and find the screenshot and put it up on screen for you now. Um, it's something like 80 or 85% of all orders that go through O below, so drop shipping orders only, um, go out to the US. So it's so much more competitive. So if you do find a product on this platform and you want to drop ship it to the UK like I do, then there's signs there that there's potentially a lot of potential to bring that product to the UK and actually start drop shipping and sourcing it here. Anyway, with that being said, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more content every single week I publish videos on things like this looking at proven stores how to find products different Facebook ad strategies that sort of thing um, and of course if you like the video please make sure you hit that like button too so I can kind of gauge what kind of content you guys want to see and then obviously I can put out more content um, in that same kind of fashion so thanks again for tuning in and let's jump straight into it so before I actually show you the store itself um, let's jump into the numbers we can see the total revenue here um, this revenue data comes directly from Shopify too, so it cannot be edited. This is legit. This is a proven site, which does really, really well. We can see 997 um, in dollars. So this is an American store. It's been drop shipping to America. One thing to keep in mind too, um, is kind of like where the spikes in sales come from. So when their sales start to increase, because then you can compare this to the time of year, um, the point at which you're looking at that. And then again, it gives you more information to how much potential there is behind this particular product. So before I show you the product itself, we can see that sales kind of spiked here for them. Um, in Q4, this could be for a couple of reasons. Number one, it could be because they increased their ad spend, which they probably did, um, as most people do in Q4. But what it can also be too, um, is a lot more people are shopping online for Q4 for obvious reasons, obviously Christmas um, and other kind of significant dates are coming up with things like Black Friday and so on. Um, so as we stand, as I record this video in July, Q4 is in three months. Um, so my opinion, it's kind of like the perfect time to get into this particular product. When you see the product, if you haven't guessed it already by the URL at the top, um, then it kind of fits the bill perfectly for a gift, which is why I believe, another reason to why I believe this kind of spiked in Q4. A little bit more background information and something I like to check out is the expenses because this gives you an idea to how they're running their business. So the Shopify plan, they're obviously at the max plan. The reason being is because the more expensive plan you pay for, um, the cheaper your transaction fees become. So even though they're paying $300 a month, the volume going through the store, um, the savings will far outweigh this $300 per month basically. Um, they have the apps obviously and then Facebook, Instagram and Google is primarily going to be where their marketing um, or where their traffic comes from. Now if you've noticed the shipping and Amazon FBA fees, the way these guys are actually set up is they keep all of their stock in an Amazon FBA warehouse, but then they've got Shopify linked to that warehouse. So even though somebody buys it from Shopify, it's still essentially dispatched 
from the FBA warehouse. So now you've got kind of like the backstory behind the store, let's actually jump into the store itself. And this is it, so Charging Dock Stations. It's a branded store around lots of different products, but essentially they have one product, which is their best seller. I found this on AliExpress too, so I'll be able to tell you um, exactly or roughly how much profit they're making per sale minus their marketing costs. Um, first thing I always want to look at or kind of show you, show you when I do these videos is the theme that people are using. So there's always a big debate around whether you have to pay for a really expensive theme or you can use a free one. These guys are using Debut, which is available in the Shopify app store for zero cost. So it just goes to show to essentially set up a business which has the potential to do a million dollars in sales is only going to cost you about $50, all the apps included. So you don't have to spend a lot of money to get started and have a lot of potential. And that really is the beauty of dropshipping. So I'm not gonna spend too much going through the design. Um, it's pretty simplistic to be fair, but what they do do um, really well is all the fundamentals. So nine times out of 10, when I'm looking at a site that hasn't performed well, it's usually because they haven't done the most simplest task and the fundamentals correctly. And things like that come to like the color schemes, it comes to the logos, the fact they're not using a default font, they've changed it to a custom font just to kind of separate it from that very basic original Shopify theme that everybody starts with. If we head into our Koala Inspector, go to products, best sellers, then we can see that this indeed is their very best um, selling product. Everything again is fairly straightforward. The imagery, um, they've got like a little custom add to cart button with a little tag on here. All these kind of little touches kind of separate it from just the very stereotypical default dropshipping site, but they make all the differences. And again, it goes back to that kind of doing all the fundamentals correctly, and that can make all the difference. You don't have to spend hundreds of pounds or thousands of pounds on themes, on design. You just have to get the fundamentals um, done really well. So again, you've got an original image image here, original content. Because the e-commerce space is so popular or, or is so competitive um, on Facebook, the chances are, unless you've invented your product yourself from the very beginning, people will have seen this product before. And if you have the same imagery, the same everything as everybody else, you're just gonna kind of all fall into the same kind of pool of businesses and not kind of be the person who captures the customer's attention and ultimately captures their money, captures their payment. But by having original images, things like this, just kind of separates you from the pack and makes the customer that much more likely to trust you um, and therefore actually spend with you and buy the products from you. And then of course, they've got looks reviews um, down here. Another thing, kind of side note to touch on, I see it all the time, people have looks reviews, but they don't proofread them. They'll be foreign language, broken English, things like that. Um, and people will read the reviews. They wanna make sure that you are who you are and the product is of good quality. So if you have dodgy reviews, it's gonna put people off straight away, red, red flags immediately, um, and you're gonna lose that particular customer. So next up, let's take a look at the product. So I believe I've found if I change it to black, um, so there's the black and there's the black. I'll give you guys a couple of seconds just to kind of have a look at that one um, and then have a look at that one. It's the exact same product. Let's go for black plug type without wireless, with wireless. So at the very most, it's gonna cost you $15. These guys are selling it for $40. They have kind of like a bulk quantity um, discount. They probably have an upsell installed too. So their average order value is probably gonna hover somewhere around $50 um, with a $15 cost. So you can see the profit margins are pretty solid. They can probably afford $20, $25 cost per purchase and still be able to just about make a profit, but they should be able to achieve a lot better than that around the kind of $10 mark. So a pretty healthy profit margin uh, for such a simplistic product. I haven't had a look for this product on CJ Dropshipping yet, but with, a, with products like this, they're usually pretty available. Um, so if I had to bet, I would say CJ could offer you this, which means you'll be able to offer that fast shipping to the US and to the UK as well. So just to reiterate, the exact same product, we can see it's in fact the exact same image, but what they've done is they've kind of photoshopped it in front of this kind of background image. Again, just to kind of differentiate and separate it from any other particular site who simply just imported the products from AliExpress. 
Moving on to the Facebook ad library then, we can see the exact ads these guys are actually running. We can see which ones are active too, highlighted by the green tick. So what that essentially shows us is what a million dollar product looks like, what their store looks like, what their product page looks like, and what their ads actually look like. So essentially you have a whole business's setup ready to go, ready for you to take inspiration from and replicate. Not copy, just replicate, take inspiration from, move to a different country. So for example, sell this in the UK. And like I said, Q4 is only three months away. It gives you plenty of time to get a really decent store set up, buy a couple of products yourself, get some original user generated content, um, ready to kind of really take advantage of Q4. So before I end the video, I just wanna show you one of my favorite ads that these guys are running. Obviously, I don't wanna show you all of them. You guys can head over and kind of go through them in your own time but in my opinion this is my favorite one because it just highlights so many different things about the product and they just do everything right basically so they have all the kind of key things at the top 30 day guarantee do the five day delivery they feature the actual product itself it looks like custom original content things like this would be super easy to film yourself you could even do it on an iPhone but it just clearly demonstrates everything that it can do and I believe it goes on to kind of show the existing problem and kind of pain points that people are having and then obviously offers up the solution by showing what this product um, can indeed do. So that in its essence is the whole business, the whole product, um, the whole supplier source, everything all in one. Um, so I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you. So I'm gonna wrap the video up there. Um, if you're still watching, thank you very much. I really do appreciate everybody who watches these videos to the end. But before you go, I just wanna mention the Ecom Academy. If you are looking for some kind of support resource or program or course, whatever you wanna call it, um, comes with my full support and guidance as well as well over 120 videos that will show you how to set up a business from scratch as a complete beginner, um, how to source products not only from China drop shipping but also in bulk and also um, how to source products with that fast shipping as well. So I'll put a link in the description if that's something you want to check out but any questions um, just post them down below. I read every single one and I will get back to you. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.